In this video today, I will talk about doctorate in psychology or PsyD. In India, this is for those pursuing doctorate in clinical psychology. It means you are a clinical psychologist with a doctorate using doctor that is DR before your name. In the UK, this is also known as D-Clin-Sci. That is, in the UK, PsyD is also D-Clin-Sci. In India, between a PsyD and a PhD psychology, similarity is both will have DR, but PsyDs are more suited in clinical setting in hospitals and PhDs more in colleges, universities and research settings. At knowledge level, both are capable of treatments because understand that until PsyD got introduced, PhDs would manage it all. Now we have PsyD and PhD differentiation just to streamline things, okay? So, if you are interested in exploring more about this topic, if you are planning to become a clinical psychologist from a non-psychology background, then this is the video you must watch in full without skipping any part so you do not miss the context. And if you are new to my channel, please hit like, subscribe to the channel for more videos on topics like this. If you are already there with me for a very long time, thank you for being here. You know very well this is going to be another amazing video. So let's dig in. Okay, so why are you worried? Tell me. You will get worried about these degrees. Elevate your cortisol levels, upset your physical and psychological well-being both. Listen. The very first thing to become a psychologist is to think and act like a psychologist. So many questions and comments that I have been receiving, they express a very high level of anxiety around becoming a clinical psychologist. But why? Do you even know how much a clinical psychologist actually gets to earn? Well, money is not the measurement, but it still is. After all the hard work you will be expected to put in. Do you know that a forensic or an industrial psychologist or even a counseling psychologist can make more income while making more impact? This is not to dissuade you, but to inform you that you can very well be a clinical psychologist if you are so determined, but be informed. Use your choices and your current situation to your advantage instead of sulking over it. And here is how you do it. Before I proceed, remember this is general information. If you need guidance related to your current academic situation, you can contact me. Details in the description. All right, so number one, students from non-psychology background can pursue MA psychology and then appear for post-graduation diploma in clinical psychology or as I was discussing in the beginning, doctorate in psychology as in PsyD. Remember, PhD psychology is doctorate in philosophy in psychology. So don't get confused. Number two, in India, while there are a few universities for PDCP, there is only Amity that offers a few seats in PsyD. Swikar School of Rehabilitation used to be there, but I came to know from someone who did PsyD from there that they have discontinued this program. This means you will have massive competition for those few seats at Amity. We don't know when more seats will be introduced. Number three, think about it. IGNU alone churns 1000 MA psychologists or more every year. All universities put together, the country must be post-graduating tens of thousands of psychologists. How many do find their way to Amity, PsyD or PDCP? How many end up becoming a clinical psychologist or even just a psychologist after all the money they invest in tuition, in good faith to serve people? This is one of the reasons why mental health in India is still lagging behind. 
Number four, there isn't anything exclusive a clinical psychologist does that does not overlap with the expertise of a psychiatrist or with the therapy expertise of a counseling psychologist over a period of time. So you wanting to be a clinical psychologist is not an exclusive experience and hence putting yourself against the whole tide is not good for your mental health. And if you are not good, if you are exhausted, how will you serve a long career? Be strategic. Number five, if you are still convinced to become a clinical psychologist, even after MPhil clinical psychology ceases to exist in 2026, you can prepare yourself well and crack the entrance for PDCP or PsyD unless RCI makes any other new declaration or new requirements for these programs. As of 2025, the time I'm making this video, for PDCP, you will study one year in person and get associate license from RCI to practice as a clinical psychologist with limited opportunities. For PsyD, you will study four years to get full license from RCI to practice independently with unlimited opportunities. It all depends on you and it depends on RCI if it just introduces something new again. Number six, competition. If you have an appetite for great competition, then you are most welcome to pursue this path. As of 2025, you are fighting along with the rest of the best for a counted few seats. You must have 65% and above in your master's in psychology. You need two letters of recommendation from permanent faculty members from where you will pursue your master's in psychology. So if it is IGNU, you know the drill or check my video on IGNU. You have to crack the entrance and you have to pay 20 lakhs. Yeah, approximately. That is how simple it is for RCI to increase the number of clinical psychologists in India. Look, I would say that it is okay to have dreams. You must have dreams in fact, but it also needs a lot of fight. So you should be prepared to fight to actualize them. And as a future psychologist, you should know that if it is all worth fighting, invest approximate 20 lakhs for entire side D and make three to four lakhs per year thereof for the initial four to five years, which turns into net zero as your annual living expenses will take over, will use it up or choose some alternative creative paths to make your impact in the domain of psychology. It is all up to you. And for all of these, if you need a strong evaluation of your circumstances, you can contact me for academic and career counseling using the information in the description. Thank you for watching. I hope this has been immensely helpful to you. Take care and have a lovely day.